Greetings. Welcome to the Yang style long form Tai Chi class on PTTV. I'm Michael Gilman. Um, this week we have a lot of really wonderful movements that we're going to go through. Um, beautiful movements and most of them are very similar to movements that you've already done either in fact in this section that we're going to do today some of them are exactly the same so all you have to do is put them into the proper place and you already know the movements uh, we've got a good crew today Gary Nelson and Miss Anna Banana and Steffi is switching so I expect great things to be happening okay so let's uh, loosen up Gentle and easy shake. Now, if I were doing this at home, like in the morning class, you know, we, you take your time, do one hand, do one wrist, do one forearm, do one elbow, do the upper arm, shoulder. Take your time to experience the, the letting go here. You know, but since uh, this, you know, we, we don't want to take up as much time as we could for this. So nice and easy. Use your mind to let go, to relax. Remember, what is the master key to Tai Chi? What is the master key to Tai Chi? I don't hear any answers. The master key is intention, your intention. Remember the formula? Yi, Qi, Jing, mind, energy, expression of energy. So the more mind you have, the more energy you're going to have expressed as a result. So. <clears throat> My uh, mic cord is hanging down. Please excuse me a second here. Feels like I've got this little tail. In fact, I do, trailing me. Okay. Rolling down. Rolling up. Wu Chi stance. Feet shoulder width, feeling the weight evenly distributed over the two feet, front and back, side to side, knees soft, pelvis slightly tucked under, top of the head lifting, chin slightly tucked under, shoulders and upper ribs suspended from above. Breathing in and out through the nose, directing the breath to the lower belly. Take an integration breath. Feel the energy as it moves down through the body, unifying, relaxing, and integrating. All right, I think today we're going to start off just as a warm up with something I've come up with this week and I've been really excited working on this. It's what I call pushing the log. And uh, it helps to explain the concept that uh, in Tai Chi, one of the principles is that when, say, I've finished a movement, the tendency is when you're doing the form is to do left brush knee, knee let's see bottom, fan through the back, you know, to do these little pieces. But we want to make sure that this is all tied together and that the energy flows is created and destroyed in an appropriate fashion. So things you know, it's like with energy, it, it builds up, 
and then it slowly decays. So with this pushing the log bit, what I imagine is that I, you know, it's a, I'm standing in water up to the waist, and this, there's a sort of a large log in front of me. And there's a nice big warm lake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the log. And when I finish pushing it, I just let my attention go there for a moment. And then I come back. Here comes another log. This could be some sort of a, you know, job for somebody. Push the log. And off it goes. Now, this is also going to help us with our torso turning. You see, it's not the arm. I'm not doing it with the arm. It won't work. You put the arm at the end and use your legs, use your torso, and use your internal energy. Don't use strength to do this and watch it go. So if I were breathing, I would inhale, then exhale. Inhale, weight on right foot, shifting, weight on left foot, relax. Inhale, weight on right foot, shifting, twisting, relax. You want to feel the torso making this movement happen, the legs and torso. The upper body remains pretty well relaxed. One more time, right side. Good. Coming back to center, left side. Push. Inhale. Exhale. And if you were pushing a big log, and say you wanted to push it some particular place, you would have to look, where is it I'm trying to push it? And f push it, right? And over there, OK, it's moving over there. Right? So now my attention goes back to the, joining with the log. Now, as I get it going, my attention then moves to where I want to send it. You see, our Tai Chi form is exactly the same. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And relax. Shogong. Now we can use the log idea with Shogong. So you gather. And here I've, I've got two logs, and I just push them down. Nice and easy. It's like I'm laying on the surface of the water, and I push these logs down and send them right on out. All right, so you might experiment around with this idea. And you can do it with two hands. We can, like, using some of the patterns that we've done, like uh, repulse the monkey, one hand, you can pull a log. You can be pulling this log, right? You can come up, reach, and pull the log and relax as it goes by you, right? And you can push and pull. You can use splitting, the splitting energy, so you're pushing two logs in opposite directions, right? And it's like with the legs and the feet, when you step, you see, when you kick, when we do our foot kicks and things like that, that you kick and push the log away with your foot. Kick it away. Eh? That'll keep you from jerking and snapping and all of that stuff that interferes with your energy flow. Okay, so 
think about this, practice it. It's fun. You can just do a little, a little bit, and you'll see pretty soon you'll get a lot of chi buildup in the hands. Okay? And body. Get everything unified and relaxed. Okay, so let's go through, just a review through last week's movements uh, from slanting flying. And then we're, Anna is going to help me today um, as we go through our new movements. Okay, so from that we did from repulse monkey. Slanting flying, come into center. Press down as you step behind the energy and expand outward. Raise hands, replace the foot, neutralize to the side, and slap. Stork spreads its wings, neutralize, step to the side, grab the elbow, elbow striking, and open. Left brush knee, block, block, and push. Needle at sea bottom. They grabbed, we knocked off with this hand, grabbed it, pull down, and come out. Fan through the back, we lift it up, step in, and attack. Okay, one more time. In this direction. Coming to center. Neutralize to the side and step down. Press out and open. Raise hands. Shift back. Neutralize back. And attack. Stork spreads its wings, neutralize in, step to the side, elbow strike, and open. Left brush knee, turn block, turn block, step, and push. Needle at see bottom, replace, pull back, taking off. Grab and pull down and poke out. Fan through the back, lift up, step in and down. All righty. Okay, so uh, let me uh, demonstrate what we're going to do today, and Anna can get herself together, get on over here. Okay, so from fan through the back. Turn and white snake puts out tongue. Now this is very much like turn and chop opponent with fist, but I'm using an open hand. Then step up, deflect downward, and punch. Just like we did after the, the first turn and chop opponent with fist. Step up, deflect downward, and punch. Ward off left, exactly the same as the, the following that sequence. And right push upward, exactly the same. Roll back. Press forward. And push. Now a new single whip, very similar to the one that we just did, neutralize neutralize and this is a hooking attack waving hands like clouds our last waving hands like clouds this is a little different stepping that the feet are going to come together then we're going to go one two three, and one more single whip, very similar to the first one that we did.
Okay, so um, Anna, if you'd come in. Greetings, greetings. Anna didn't know she was going to be my dummy. And lo and behold, look at this. She brought along this advertising for the Marine Science Center. Well, I don't mind supporting the Marine Science Center. So Anna's the volunteer coordinator, right, at the Marine Science Center. That's one of her many jobs. Okay, so um, the first is white snake puts out tongue. Now, I remember Master Choi, my instructor, saying that white snake was a, sort of a kind of an interesting movement. That if, say, you were, he was a lot, he was a lot more martial than I am, even. But that white snake was uh, that here I kind of feigned to, that I was going to attack her, but really I then poke, and here these two fingers were the snake's tongue coming out, you see, right. So the, uh, this movement looks like that, but I'm going to use a little softer approach in that she's coming after fan through the back. My opponent I see is back there, so I, I come into my center. Then as she's attacking me sort of towards this area, right, I'm going to neutralize this with the back of my hand. Now this doesn't look like it would be a nice straight punch. It doesn't look like this would be very effective, but it is. So I neutralize her, and then this hand comes up. Now in Tai Chi, we, we stick to things. And once, you, once you're on them, it's very difficult to let go. And even if you're not holding it, you know, it's, a, it's a kind of an interesting skill. There's stories of uh, Master um, Yang Lushen, who was the originator of the Yang style, and he supposedly could lift chairs and things without grabbing hold of them just by his sticking power. You see, that the, the, this sticking power? We'll see. Anyway, I didn't meet the gentleman, but it's a good story. Okay, so then we follow, after turning white snake, uh, a step up, deflect downward, which is the same one. She comes in, I neutralize step, closing her up, then open her up for the punch, All right? Then uh, ward off left, she grabs this hand, I come back, knock her off, and then boom, come in, and follow with another boom. That's good enough, right? And then roll back, press forward, and push. We've done it enough that you know that. The next is single whip. Now, this single whip is a double striking single whip. So. Uh, I, I kind of like this one. This one's fun. So she's going to first punch with this hand. And what, what I'm going to do is, is use this little hooking hand to, to neutralize it over to, to this side. Right? So it's yeah, oh, well, we're <laughs> close here. OK, so I neutralize this. Then she follows with this one, which I neutralize this. You see, now it's kind of a standoff. So one, she comes in, two, and instead I'm going to let go of this one and come around and hit her around the side. So it's, so it's one, two, three, okay? And finally, at the, end of, uh, at the end of that portion, oh, uh, we're going to do a wave in the hands like clouds. And this one, the, the first two were dealing with, uh, first two clouds hands were dealing with upper body strikes and grabs. This one is dealing with a foot kick to the lower body. So as Anna goes to kick me, I turn, join with her, then I step and throw her away. You see, now, so if she's kicking me, you see, I turn, blocking and grab her joint, and then I step, and this is going to then fling her off and out of the picture. Okay, so that's, that's these movements. And finally, the, the single whip uh, after this is that she's coming in, after I've done this, she's coming in with this side, or, or this hand, okay, that we'll say this hand, okay? So she's coming in this, this side. So I'm going to neutralize this hand the same time, I'm going to step in, and if we do it on this side, do you see? Okay, so as I neutralize her, 
If I neutralize her here, she's free to, 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 to attack me at this side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to step right in, and you see she could grab me, but I said I'm going to quickly throw her right over my leg. Right? So I, I move in quick and throw over my leg. And the last part of that is after I've done, so you'll see, this, this looks very similar. I step in and open. Okay, now I'm going to go back to this direction. So she's going to be, now do you remember the blocking strike that we did when she, following the first single whip, following the first cloud's hands, when she, when I finished this movement, she then punched this way and I made this blocking strike, remember? Because, because here I didn't have any time. She was open, so I just attacked. Now this time she's going to punch towards me with this hand. So I'm going to join here. So I'm going to join and give her a little pull and then hit her. You see, most people, they don't expect the pull to happen. And then once you do, you make this movement happen, OK? All right, so I think that's it. Thank you very much, Anna. OK, so let me, uh, let me just show you once again before we break them all up. Uh, while this is kind of fresh in your memory. Turn and white snake puts out tongue. So Anna was behind me. So I came into my center. Guarding, right? Then she punched. I step out, join, lead, stick lead, and then strike. She then punched towards my lower center. I neutralize, close her up, press down to open her up, and punch. She grabs me. I come back, dropping, cutting her off, and follow with a pong strike. She's reeling backwards, so I gather my energy into this leg and then continue the strike with this side. Rollback is the usual dealing with various activities. OK, single whip. So this was the double strike coming back. So one, neutralize this direction. Two, neutralize this. Then I take her. As I pull this hand, this hand hooks around. Next, waving hands like clouds. I come back, dealing with blocking the foot kick and throw. And this time I'm going to use two feet together. Repeating three times, same as always. One, two, three. Then single whip. Yeah. So she was punching in with, I stepped in, joined to her center, throw her over the leg. Then somebody else punches in. I neutralize, pull, and strike. OK, this is a lot, but uh, a lot of movements. But I think that uh, you know that they're very, very similar or the same. So we shouldn't have any problems. OK, so let's work first on turn and white snake. The foot movements are the same as uh, for turn and chop opponent with fist uh, uh, following fan through the back. Just the foot movements. One, shift, turn, turn the toe into straight to our beginning direction. Two, shift and pivot, opening the body to the corner. Three, sink into the left foot as you step slightly to the right of the right wall. And whatever the next number is, shift the weight and turn the waist and turn in the back toe. Once again. One, shifting back, turning to straight. Two, shifting, continuing to turn, pivot, facing the corner. Three, sink and step slightly to the right. And four, continue turning in in the back toe. 
Okay, that's pretty clear. We've done it a many times. So hand movements. One, as you shift and turn, the left hand comes overhead high and the right hand drops down. You better see this from the front. This is a, a little tricky. So the right hand's going to come straight down. The left hand's going to come with the body. To pivot, you come into center position. Right hand hanging, left hand by the left shoulder. Okay. I think we better do it this way so you can see it. One, the right hand drops down, the left hand comes with you as you turn. Two, the hands continue to center position as you open. Three, step out and See this, in the back fist, in the fist we did it like here. This is open hand, the knuckles are facing straight ahead. And finally, pull down. One, turn, right hand drops, left hand overhead high. Two, center position. Three, step join, neutralize, and push. One, up and down, two, center, three, join, four, stick, lead, push. Again. Turn, center, step, join, lead, push. Okay, uh, so the right with the correct timing. One. Three, four. Now the biggest problem is when making the step and strike to lose one's balance or to step make that step happen. So this is incorrect. This is what what tendency is to you come onto this foot and then go no. Keep the weight. Remember to keep the weight sinking. You sink deeper into this left foot as the right hand comes out. And then out. Turn and white snake puts out tongue. One, two, three, four. Okay, step up, deflect downward, parrying punch. We've done it before. One, let's just do the foot movement just as a reminder. One, pull in the toe, turning, the, turning to face nose points to the left knee. Two, lift up, replace. We're going to replace down to about almost a right angle. It doesn't have to be quite that steep an angle. Shift the weight onto that foot, roll up the back toe. Step straight towards that wall, which would be on the right side of the starting direction. And shift, turn in the toe. Yeah, I think that we, we know this. So let's, let's uh, do this with the hand motions. One, the left hand is going to twist and come, to the, come down to the waist. The right hand is going to just move with the body, making a fist. So one, 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 one. Two is the hands are starting over. It's just almost like you're, you're throwing something over on this side. The, 
the right hand's going to come over and down, over and down. It's basically done just with the elbow, over and down, over and down, over and down. Over and down. Shifting the weight, step you press. So now, this looks very much, very similar to all the other parry and punches and all of that. And finally, the punch. Shark swimming through water. I'll do it this direction. One, neutralize, pull in, turning to the left. Two, replace the foot starting to bring, I'm, this hand is joined to, to, to my partner's hand and I'm bringing it over, closing her up. The left hand comes over, attaches to the elbow as I step. I press down slightly and punch to the center. One, make a fist. Two, neutralize, bring over. Three, step and join, press down and punch. Okay, these two movements. Turn, shifting back, hands in the center. Two, center position. Three, step and join. Four, lead and strike. Step up, deflect downward. One, join, neutralize. Two, lead over and down. Three, step, press down and punch. Ward off left was the same ward off as we did before. One, open, relax. Two, knock off, come into your center position. Sinking and turning. And three, Pong ward off. Now the important thing here is when you're doing this movement, it's so simple it seems difficult. Is that one, you relax into the front foot. Two, you sink into this back leg. Now there's a tendency when you're doing this to come back, sort of, kind of, whoa, your back behind your quad. Make sure that you come into your quad and up. You're using the ground, you're compressing your energy between the ground and your hip joint. So, one, relax. Two, come into center position, knocking down. Three, pong. Okay, let's do this, these three facing this direction. One, you're transitioning. Two, you've arrived in center position. Three, you join. Lead, neutralize, and push. Step up, deflect downward. This is turning as you come block. Taking, closing your opponent up. Bring everything over to the right side. Step in, press down, and punch. Ward off. One, relax and open. Two, come back into your center, turning to the right. And three, pong. Okay, these three once again, in the proper direction. One, turn. Come into center. Two, you're in center position. Three, Join, lead, stick, and push. Step up, deflect downward. Neutralize. Close up. Press down, opening, and punch. Relax. Knock off. Come to center, and pong. Next is right push upward using our forward stepping. Our forward stepping, right? Pivoting on the heel, using your torso. Turn out the front toe and roll onto it. 
get up off that back heel, coming into center, step towards the right, and right push upward. Now, remember on this uh, ward off left or right push upward, this forward step, if I do it facing this camera, for instance, Now, so say here I am pr pretty much facing straight to you. Now, I'm going to turn in the back toe. I'm using this like I'm bringing a big barrel or something. I'm going to bring it over here. So I turn in the back toe, pivot out the front toe, roll onto that foot. Now I've got the weight centered on this left foot. Then we can s safely step. So it's not easy, but it's not difficult. It's a conundrum is what it is. So uh, the mo you have to use the momentum. And also be careful that you don't, don't, uh, don't keep this back foot rooted when you turn out, or you'll find you'll, you're going to fall right to, over to the left. What you need to do is when you make this turn, you turn in the back toe. And now I'm going to be, I'm rooted, I've got a root in the front heel and the back toe. There's a root moved into the toe. So now I've got two roots. Now I've got a root then in the front foot and the back toe. Now I'm really sinking the root into the right foot so I can then, I mean into the left foot so I can step the right foot. Okay? So I know this is a, it's a little tricky, but it, it's a, it's, you know, not, too difficult. Ward off left. Right push up or turn. Turn, roll, pivot, come to center. Step slightly to the right and right push upward. Roll back, same roll back, press forward and push. This is all called right push upward, roll back, press forward and push is all called grasping the bird's tail. Okay, so all of this section from the, in the proper direction, so you can follow along. Turn. And white snake puts out tongue. Roll back. Coming over, closing up, and punch. Ward off left. Right push upward. Roll back. Press. Push. All right. Next is single whip. Okay. So if you remember the last single whip, that we did, we use, it's very, very similar to this one. Now watch. We came back, neutralized, then they attacked with the other hand, but we joined here and led it and then struck out with the back of the wrist. Do you remember that one? Very, very similar. This is very similar. Very similar. Now watch this one again. So here's the old one. It goes one. This one we pulled inward. Then they punched and we just led here and struck straight, a straight strike outward. Now this one.
It's a very fast. One, and this I'm going, to, I'm going to take it slightly to the right as opposed to pulling it in. I'm going to open it to the right and then the punch comes right after which I make a, like another hook. Then, see there's a little hand movement where I'm taking the hook and making a grab out of it. And as I pull this way, this makes a round striking motion. As opposed to the, the previous one is much straighter. It's in and out. And this is circle, 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 circle. And, and everything in Taiji, you see these circles going like this, right? What's happening, it's all coming from the belly. All these circles are happening in my belly. It's not just the arm making this. It's the torso making this. And I do hope some of you have had the chance to meet with Madame Gafu, who we've had come over here for workshops. She's just an incredible master of internal energy. And she loves you to put your hands on, on her, the different parts of her body as she's doing actions like this. And you can feel all of the internal Dantian motions m making these things happen. Right from the center, these, these twisting, turning, circling motions. And uh, so that's the ideal. That's the ideal. Okay. So let's uh, work on this one, the single whip. So it's going to be... Um, so we've just done all of this stuff in uh, this direction. No, let's see, we've done... Uh, Let's see, we're going over here. Okay, so single whip is going to be going over here. So the foot movement is exactly the same as we've been doing. One, shift back. Two, turn straight. Three, shift and pivot. Four, step. Five, shift. So it's just the same as we've been working on. Okay, with the hand motion, let's just do the right hand. One, shift back, it lengthens. Two, it comes along with the body, joins, makes the hook. Three, it comes with the body as you open. Four, step, it doesn't really do anything. And five, it circles around. One, it comes back. Two, join. Three, open to the right. Four, step. And five, circle up. Circle up. One, two, three, four, The um, left hand, one, it comes back. Two, it comes with you. Three, it comes back and joins. Four, it twists and opens to the front. And five, pulls with the body over. One, it shifts back. Two, it comes with the body. Three, it makes the hook. Four, it opens. And five, pulls with the body. So now watch these two hands as they go together. One, both hands lengthen. Two, both hands come to the front the right hand makes the hook. Three, the right hand opens to the right and the left hand now hooks. Four, you step, this hand turns into a grab. Five, you pull and strike. One. Two. Three, 
four, One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in the, in the proper pacing, one, two, Three, four, five. All right. Okay, let's put this in with the rest of the movements. From fan through the back. Turn and white snake puts out tongue. One. Step up, deflect downward, and punch. Come back, neutralize. Close up. Press down, and punch. Ward off left. Relax. Come back to center. Knocking off, and push away. Pong. Follow up, turn in. Turn out, shift, gather, step, and release. Right, push upward. Roll back. Press forward. And push. Single whip, coming straight back. Turn. Join, lead, join, root, throw. Okay, so let's work on waving hands like clouds. Now this one I like, this uh, foot movement. Um, this is quite a, I, I learned this one from a gentleman called Waylon Wong, who is a really great practitioner, young fellow, really uh, probably 15, 20 years younger than I am, maybe 15 years, really accomplished, really, really accomplished. Comes from Canton, China, the same area that um, Master Choi came from, my teacher. And they look alike, they look very similar, and they, their accents are very similar. It was very interesting when I met Waylon. You know, it really reminded me of Master Choi. He's a, he's a neat guy. Okay, so this, um, uh, this waving hands like clouds. So in the past, for both of the last two, the right hand came first, and then we came back. Because this was either blocking, joining, or that they had grabbed us and we twisted. In this case, the kick is coming in, so we immediately move down to block as we turn in. We then now, her leg is over here, so I spiral it up. And I follow by bringing the foot right next to the other one. The foot, the feet are right together. So for the foot movements here, let's just look at the foot movements here a second. One, we shift, turn in the toe. Two, shift, bring the foot right next to it. Then, now it's a little tricky if, if you do it very slowly, that you, you're going to shift the weight. Now it's shifting to my right foot. I release the left foot, step shoulder width, shift onto that foot. I'm making sure that I, I used the, the root of this, then release this foot and bring it next to it. Turn the waist, sink into the right foot, release the left foot by rolling up, step to the side, shoulder width, shift to this foot. Now that it's released, I can roll up, bring it right next to there's two, 
turn, release, step, and shift. Okay? So, um, let's do that again. Turning, shifting, pull in. Turning, sink, step, turn. Now the hardest part is to kind of, when you're, in order to step, you have to bring your weight onto this right foot, sink, and the waist is turned a little bit further than straight ahead. Step, and over. Bring in, turn, sink, step, and over. Yeah. So, uh, as always, I recommend just practicing this little side step. You know, it's just a little, little side step. We could go back this way. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's not difficult. Okay, so the hands. As you shift, the left hand comes straight down, the right hand stays up by the shoulder. One, here I am neutralizing. Two, this comes up. Now this movement, neutralize and throw, let's see if I can do this so you, uh, so, so you can see the side, the spiral quality of it. Neutralize, and it spirals sort of slightly up and out. A after you neutralize, you spiral slightly up and out. So if I was doing two hands, which I'm not going to, but if you're doing two hands like this, spiraling up, it, it, it kind of comes from the lower place and spirals up and twists out. You see? Spiraling up and out. 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 So it's not just st staying, it's not staying, like all the uh, previous ones stayed basically on the same plane. But this one is kind of coming slightly outward. Because the other ones I threw, I was throwing my opponent back over my leg. This one, I'm throwing them off and away to the distance, so the spiral can happen out a little bit outward. I'll do it, let's, uh, let's better do it this way so you can follow along. One, neutralize. Turn in the toe, weight sinking on the left. Two, spiral up and out. I'm pushing with this leg, right leg, and finally I release and bring it in. That's ready. Okay, so now I neutralize, step, and throw, and this is what I call follow. You bring it in, you're following the energy. So you're joining, stepping, throwing. Okay, I'll do it facing you so you can see this, uh, the action here. One, turn, neutralize, throw, and follow. Now the other hand here, my right hand, so this is grabbing and throwing, and this is just sort of supporting the throw. This is just sort of supporting the throw, what we call the dway la, so that I don't go flying off here. This is pressing slightly down to keep me in balance. And then when I bring this foot in, I bring this hand over to follow. So. Join, throw, follow. Neutralize, step, throw, and follow. Neutralize, step, throw, and follow. All right. Do it in this direction. Waving hands like clouds. Neutralize. Throw. And follow. 
Now, now we're going to start counting three. One. Two. We're even here, so I can't. Okay, so um, we didn't make it to the final single whip, but c'est la vie. We d we've covered a lot of territory. There's a lot. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'll go through this section uh, from the beginning, and um, if uh, I know we're getting close on time, so if they have to fade out, they fade out whenever they do. And I'll put a little special extra uh, review next week on these section, okay? So um, good luck, and once again, thank you, as always, for joining us. And let us go through from this section. From fan through the back.